guys. So I figured I'm going to bring, um, I'm going to, since I'm doing stuff right now, I think I'm going to make some, um, just a small thing of deviled eggs to bring there and um, for, for before dinner. So um, that's what I'm doing. I'm making, boiling the eggs now. I think I'm going to, let me just do something here. Um, I just want to add a couple more eggs to it. I found chips for you. They're not barbecue. They're sour cream and onion. Okay, that'll be fine. Okay, good. Don't be crazy. I don't drive you. She doesn't drive me crazy. Yes, she does. Mommy, you drive yourself crazy. Yeah, I know. was I put some um, baking soda, is it soda again? Yeah. Baking soda in the, I gotta clean this cabinet out. Look at this cabinet. Look at, this. Look at it. It's a mess. I have to, um, I mean I put baking soda in there and some salt because the last couple of times I made deviled eggs, they were a nightmare for peeling. It was, began, and I had forgotten to put the baking soda in and that seems to really work. So, uh, but you know, all different things work. Sometimes when they're really cold, it works. Sometimes when they're really hot, it works. And it doesn't work sometimes. So I think it just depends on the chicken. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So I did that. So this is gonna, I'm gonna wait till this boils and then I time it 10 minutes. And then, um, yeah. I have an egg container and of course I'm looking for my egg containers and I think they're downstairs. Oh wait, here's one. Here's one. And I think I have another one downstairs. So I have Bill get that one when he gets home. This one has a top and I think it might be in the container, in the Tupperware container. Down there it needs to be washed. Let's say get these at Dollar General. They're like, I swear, two dollars maybe. I love those things. I have a lot of different kind of egg um, egg holders. I think I have like a really pretty kind of heavy kind of ceramic one downstairs, if I'm not mistaken. I think I do. love those things. So, yeah, so that's what I'm doing. So I'm just going to let the water boil, let the eggs boil, and then um, I'll peel them with you guys and we'll uh, make deviled eggs. She's the devil egg queen. She loves devil Nancy. eggs. I don't know how many. Want me to count how many I'm making? Maybe I can count. Maybe I can help with the, no, I'm, the paprika. And, uh, All right, guys. So I'm going to do peel the eggs now. I right, Listen, I am living right now. So I told you guys that I've been having issues with my videos, my iPad with the auto, you know, with the audio. And so yesterday, um, you know, I had an issue. I couldn't put in a video, a certain video that I had made because there's no audio. So I, I was doing it tonight and I, I said, oh, I'm not going to go back and check. I, th I think it's, it's been okay. Well, I went to check after I paused for this thing to wait for the eggs to be done. And the whole entire video of I made coleslaw for you guys was completely quiet no audio whatsoever so I didn't want to put that up for you guys because it's annoying not being able to see what I'm saying and you know who wants to read lips and it's just a pain so what I decided to do because there's no fixing it either do the audit either do the video over which I did it already or so what I did was I just took screenshots of the whole entire video. So you'll, I'm going to put that up for you guys and you'll be able to see me make the coleslaw in steps. But of course, no, no, no video. So I'm going to come on in a few minutes and show you guys the coleslaw again live on this video. So I'm going to go for a second and just check and make sure that this is recording now because if it's not, I'm going to go postal. Guys, it's so frustrating when you do a whole video and then you come and then you 
you, you go and you check it out and it's it's muted and, and it won't there's nothing you could do about it I think I need to get this iPad checked out because I think something's going on and that's not good so let me check all right I checked it out and it's it's okay so um, Alexis at the time for five minutes I'm gonna go back mm -hmm. in in five minutes and make sure that it's still videoing I see the volume here thing moving, so that's good, but, you know, I don't know. I, I just, I'm so, 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 so annoyed. Let me just get a plate for the eggs. So frustrating. Well, let's pray that these come out good, because I'm not in the mood. <laughs> I'm not in the mood, guys. There we go, look at that. Now that's with ba I put baking um, soda in and salt. And it looks like they're going to come good. Hopefully, you know. I don't want to speak too soon because you know how that goes. Let's just push down. Of course, it's not going to be perfect, but let's see. This one is doing pretty good, too. I'm just so annoyed because, you know, my iPad is what I use. I used to use my phone years ago when I didn't have an iPad, and then, my, and then they got me the iPad for one Christmas. Like, it's got to be two, three, two years now, and I'm going to probably have to get a new, app, a new iPad or something because... You know, I need to be able to video and and I need to have audio, obviously. Oh, it's so frustrating. Do all that work. You know, I did a whole video for you guys. Okay, I don't mean to keep pausing on it, guys. I guess I'll, I'll move on. <laughs> I'll move on. Let's get these eggs peeled. It is what it is. Done, over with. Can't do nothing about it. You know, since crying over spilt milk. These are peeling nice. The baking powder really does do it. I'm trying to think who um who showed me that. Who who I heard that from. I forget. I don't know who I heard it from, but whoever whoever I heard it from, thank you for that tip, guys, whoever it was, because it really does work. And that's why when I forget, oh, I get so frustrated with myself because it's such an easy fix, you know. So, yeah, I have some really energy tonight, 10 10, guys, and I am just bursting with energy. You know why? Because I, I took like a two-hour nap tonight today. Like, um, I think I slept from like 2.30 to like on and off to like 5 o'clock. I was tired. So I have a lot of motivation and a lot of energy, but you know, you know how that goes. I'll peter out soon. That's okay. I get as much done as motivated. When I'm motivated and I, you know, I have the energy and I feel good, I like to get things done because Oops, because like, you know, when you suffer with depression, everything is always a struggle, even on all the medication that I'm on. It's still a struggle, but it's not, you know, it's, it's pretty good. So I'm doing pretty good with the, with the, with the sleeve. I don't know, it's, it's just a learning curve, you know. Um, I'm trying not to weigh myself because I'm doing that on update with you guys once a week. So I used to weigh myself every day and get aggravated when the scale didn't go down or when it, you know, might have went up a couple ounces or pounds. I got really annoyed, so I stopped, so I wanted to stop doing that. And so um, I did cave and, and weighed myself this morning, I think, and it was the same, so I was okay. But I got I to gotta try not to do it because it's just, it's stupid. You know, I, I'm going to do it, I want to do it once a week, and whatever happens once a week, then, you know, whatever, but... Um, it's just hard sometimes because I'm anxious. I'm anxious to see the weight. But, you know, you you don't always see it on the scale. I see it in my clothes. I see it, you know, in my face. I see it, you know, you can just see it all around. So, 
Um, it, it definitely comes off in inches and stuff as well as it comes off in pounds. So this one's being difficult now. This is the only one. Oh, really there we go. Um, so you just got to be patient, but it's, uh, you know, I've been doing some exercising. I haven't really done the, the yoga like I said I was going to do, but I have been, I got weights and I've been lifting weights. Alexa, stop. So I've been doing that. You know, trying to do that. Let me go check. All right, guys. So I just checked it, and it's fine. Um, um, I know I my other one like this with the top is in Julie's car, which is at Julie's house. So that that's not good. No, 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 no. But when Bill gets home, I'm gonna have him go downstairs in the basement because I'm pretty sure that I have a couple of the square ones because. Um, Otherwise, I'm going to have to just put them in these things and then transfer them over, transfer them over. But right now, let me um, cut these eggs up. Uh, so, yeah, so that was good. The baking powder was good. It really did its job. So let me just dry these a little bit. There we go, guys. So it's like 10.15. Bill will be home in about an hour. So. Oh, I think my son might be home now. Frankie's home. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the egg yolks. Let me move this over here. I'm going to put the egg yolks here. This is kind of like a little bit of a broken one. That's okay. You just gotta be kind of gentle with them. But they're fine. And then I like to either wipe the knife with the egg yolk because um, Jen, I'm videoing, honey. He'll be fine. He's gonna bark. He's a dog. That's what dogs do. If they hear something in there, they alert you. Yeah. My son's home. He's going to come barreling in, wanting to eat, you know, his food. So. All right, so. Um... Yeah, so I'm going to make these. I'm going to have to bring my um, the iPad to Apple Care because I can't be doing this worrying about this crap. Care. What? To Apple Care? To Apple, the Apple Store, I mean. Alexa, stop. All right, so I had to go check it again. I'm so nervous about it. All right, so I'm almost done with this. Then what I'll do, I'm gonna just put them in here for now until I get my, until hubby comes home. And he can get that thing from me. This is cute, but this is like, um, you know, for just like, like I can bring this to Julie's and just put the eggs in something else if I need to. And then just put them on here, like when, um, when I put it out on the table. Like that, I can do that. like to wipe the knife the knife off every time if I remember. Ow! I literally just stabbed myself. Oh, oh Linda, Linda, Linda. Hey, Linda, Linda, Linda. Linda. Yeah. Let's see what I can fit in here. I was listening to uh, Whitney Houston. What a shame. What a shame, that poor girl. It's a sin. It's a 
a sin what pe what people we lose. Okay, that one's broken, so I'll just have to keep that one. <laughs> This is for me, guys. I'm getting bored. Does that mean you can't do anything with your board? Right. So, a little snack. So, what I'm going to do now is. Take the, the little smasher. Smash these. And then I'll add. Alright, so I'm going to just keep smashing it. I really like to do this in my little chopper because it's such a pain when I'm... Because what I do is I put it in a Ziploc bag... And then what happens is it gets stuck, you know, the little, if you don't get it really, really soft. I'm going to do that, even though it's going to have something else to wash. So what? I, I'm, um, what the heck is going on here? Oh, my plug is stuck back here. Oh, wait. Um, I'm doing stuff anyway. have to wash some dishes anyway, guys. So what's, okay. so what's the difference? So what's the difference, right? What? Yeah. This thing, guys, I swear, I think I got it at Dollar General. It was like $10. I got to get Julie one. I think I'm going to get her one for Christmas. I know, because that's just, you know, how I do things. Always such a mess. Put Linda away. Well, that was smart, Linda. That was a good idea to do. Hey, boy. You hear my You're son? Mess if it doesn't taste good. My son, it's the, it's the Linda way, you just said. Um, I poked a hole in my son. What? I poked a hole in the bag. Why did you poke a hole in the bag? I didn't mean to. We're grabbing some out of my fork. <sighs> really, Frank? Yeah. Really, Linda. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop this up, okay, I don't know why I did that, that's wet anyway. Let me get some mayo and put some mayo in there so it has something to move around. it right in here too. Let's put some salt. Which, what kind of all? That big glass one to your left. I'll just... Uh -huh. All 
I'll put some salt in it. A little bit of garlic powder. Some onion powder. Some pepper. big one of these but I'm not gonna whip up that big thing right now I like the little one I keep on my counter to, just to be able to do little stuff like this but I don't know it's not cooperating that easily Right, guys so it's all mixed up now I'm gonna get the Ziploc bag put it in the Ziploc bag and then you'll see how easy it is I've shown you guys this before you know a couple weeks ago actually so um, how to make double day but you know like I said I figured I'd come on and show you guys since I was showing you the um, the coleslaw which I thought but I wasn't because there was no audio anyway let me get a Ziploc bag All right, so what I like to do is I like to put this in a cup like this. This way to make it easier. All right, this is gonna be really messy now. <laughs> What do I do with that spoon? I think I put it in the sink. Yeah. Just put the spoon this into here. Can you pick her please? The whole thing here is off. Let's try to shove it in there. Get all this in here, guys, as much as we can get. Now, the last time I did this, I used a rubber band, and I'm going to do the same thing now. All right, guys, so I'm just going to squeeze this all down. Okay. this and tie it and wrap it so this bag the bags aggravate me because they don't stay I think what I'm gonna do is this it's just so tie it like that and then squeeze all this down. You guys see what I'm doing here? Squeeze all this down to 
this part right here. Okay. Let's get the scissor. Oh, scissor. Where could the scissor be now? Here it is. I got some water. I get some water. this over here. What's the glare about? Not that. I don't know. There's always a glare somewhere. All right, so squeeze it all the way down. I'm just going to tuck this in like this so none of that comes out. And just take a really sharp scissor and just snip it. This is actually a lot of fun. The kids would probably like to do this, you know, what you got with you. So you just hold it, squeeze it, like that. And this is why I like to do it in the in the in the chopper because it becomes smooth. When I don't do it this way and I do it the other way just by hand, I'm always having an issue because it's never there's always a piece of yolk or something, you know, that's not crushed up enough. So, so very simple, and it's quite fun, guys. So yeah, when Bill gets home, I have to. He better. I I I better hope. I better have some of that, some of those things downstairs. I'm pretty sure I do because I don't want to ruin these, you know. Oh, look how pretty that looks, guys! I'm gonna put some paprika on them. And hopefully there's enough here for everything. I'm gonna go try to go a little bit light because I'm afraid I'm not gonna have enough. I think I will. Yeah, it's funny. Sorry about all that noise, guys. My kids, they just, you know, they come in and they're smashing things. And... You know the way it is. Okay, so that's it. So look how easy that was. That went good this time, really good. <laughs> Normally it's a big mess and everything else, but it really did go very, it cooperated. So now with the paprika, I'm going to do it a different way because I don't know. Every time, every time I put the paprika on, it always makes a big mess. It either comes out too much or too little or whoop. So. Oh, there's not even any paprika in here. Uh, where that go? get the paprika out of the thing because there isn't any in there let's get it over here What I like to do is I'm going to take one of these paper dishes that I'm already using and put a little bit there and then just sprinkle it on. I'd rather do that than to pour it because it makes such a mess.
that ain't working with these nails. Nothing is perfect. And he's in there singing. So, it's working pretty good. Okay, so those are done. Yum. Oh. And these, let's get these. All right, guys. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna show you the coleslaw that you saw that you're gonna see in the um, in the pictures. And what I was talking about was that I wasn't sure if there was enough um, dressing and stuff. What I did was I put the mayonnaise, I put mayonnaise. I, I, did, I did my own recipe. I usually get like that Maria's, um, you know, um, that Maria's dressing in the, in the jar, but I was like, I'm not paying no $4 for that right now. So I, um, I figured I'd make my own. And I, of course I went on Pinterest and it was mayonnaise, vinegar, white vinegar, lemon juice, um, uh, salt, a little bit of sugar. Uh, was that it? I think that was it. Yeah. So that's what I did, and it didn't look like it was a lot of, um, a lot, but I've learned before not to overdo with the, with the, um, with dressing with, uh, coleslaw, because it sit after it sits a while, it does get a little bit juicier, and this has only been sitting about an hour, so it's, uh, it definitely seems like it's moister, but, um, I think it looks good. I'm going to taste it. Let's taste it. Mm. That's really good. So, the longer it sits, the more it will get juicier. If not, I'll tomorrow I'll eat a little bit more stuff. And like I said, this is for home. I'm going to Julie's tomorrow. I don't know if you guys, I don't think you guys heard that. Um, yeah, that's probably what you missed with me talking. Um, we're going tomorrow to meet Julie's in-laws. Um, we've never met them. And, you know, Julie's been with Darren for eight years. And, you know, now they're engaged and stuff. And we've never met them. And since they're getting married next year, we figured it's time to meet. So we're meeting at Julie's house. Me and Julie are making a chicken marsala and everything. And so... I'm bringing this to Julie's, but only a little bit for her. I'm not bringing it for everybody because um, me and Jenny and Julie only eat this, and it'll go bad if I, you know, I have to give some to Julie. So, anyway, so tomorrow I'm bringing deviled eggs, and me and Julie are going to make chicken marsal when we're there. I'm not going to be videoing there, but um, I'll try to do a little video in the morning, or maybe I'll just leave this video for tomorrow. Probably not. I'll probably put this as a video tonight, and then I'll do a little something um, in, you know, tomorrow before I go. Or whatever I won't be doing a what's for dinner tomorrow on Sunday because we'll be at her house so I'm not gonna do that there um, yeah so that's it all right guys so this thanks so, thanks so much for coming along with me this is what I did tonight so excited I was so motivated felt so good and that's the video for tonight so guys I really hope you enjoyed this impromptu video just a surprise video 
Um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because when you subscribe, guys, you really do help my channel grow. And it just helps me so much to do the things that I want to do for you guys. And I just love to do it. And I appreciate you so much, all of you. Don't forget to hit that notification button with the bell so you guys can be notified every time I upload a new video. Thanks for all your support. Thanks for always being here. And I'm going to go now. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye.